Let Yourself Continue was curated for the Grinnell College Museum of Art by Associate Director Daniel Strong for Fall 2020. The exhibition includes more than 50 women artists from the museum's collection and was organized to commemorate the centennial of the 19th Amendment as we look to the future with an eye towards the work that continues for security, equality, and justice. The museum invited members of our campus community to comment on works from the exhibition. In this video, you'll hear from our intern, Molly Skousen, as she talks about an etching by Emmy Whitehorse. Hi, I'm Molly Skousen. I'm a Grinnell College student and an intern for the museum. In this video, I want to talk about an untitled print by Emmy Whitehorse, who is a member of the Navajo Nation. When I look at this print, the first thing I notice is its warm orange background. The background isn't an even shade of orange. There are darker orange areas in the center and at the very top and bottom. The dark orange shape in the center is surrounded by a medium orange oval, and the left edge and right corners are more yellow than orange. In the foreground, there are a variety of lines in shape. For instance, you can see a dark red egg shape, a couple of honeycomb-like blobs, one green and one black, some white circles, several black or gray rainbow-like figures, and quite a few other shapes. According to Whitehorse, these shapes aren't random. They're symbols that refer to specific people, plants, and experiences. At first, this image looks completely abstract. But much of Whitehorse's abstract artwork is actually meant to suggest blurred landscapes. She says, My paintings tell the story of knowing land over time, of being completely microcosmically within a place. I am defining a particular space, describing a particular place. My grandma lives in southern Utah near the Navajo Nation, and when I look at this piece, I imagine the landscape that I see every time I visit her. Bare orange rocks forming pillars and arches and other interesting formations. What first caught my attention about this print is that, unlike many artists in Let Yourself Continue, Whitehorse deliberately avoids making her artwork political or angst-ridden. She says, to make art, the act of making art must stay true to a harmonious balance of beauty, nature, humanity, and the whole universe. This is in accordance with Navajo philosophy. For Whitehorse, making art is not about struggling or fighting, but about harmony and about being in a particular space, 